type of music I create with Forgotten Future really lends itself to uh, live performances, connecting with the audience in real time two ways. This is really halfway a DJ set, halfway a live performance like you would see in a show. It's really kind of the, the, the mix of the two. The concept of Forgotten Future started around 2005, actually, and I fully transitioned from my previous composition career into basically just producing concepts and music. I triggered the effect as I'm playing in a live performance, and in order to do that, I have to reach for software. So I think my favorite use of uh, Dent and Indent, and especially the new versions, is the uh, automatic gain control. That's really, really good for live performances when you want to match levels. Another really cool feature is the macro control, where you can set it up in a way that you're controlling several different parameters just with the turn of one knob. When in a live situation you don't have the chance to go over and over and lay down different automation tracks, uh, the macro control is a lifesaver. You can really just tweak one knob and a whole lot of things can start happening. I'm tweaking the analog filter uh, on the machine, hitting dent uh, really achieves a, a very rich effect with, uh, with the little saturation on it. I actually set up patch and indent too, which is a simplified version um, of dent, but it's really, really good. You can get really good quality and really interesting sounds out of it. As a matter of fact, I used uh, one of my own presets. I created a few presets for the original release for the first version and I tweaked my own preset to turn into kind of like a saturation distortion type of uh, effect for the 303. So let me show you how it works. Just running the 303, just like a simple patch here. Without the effect, um, I can tweak the cutoff and the resonance. Put the cutoff. And that's basically the type of characters you can get out of uh, the 303 in a saw wave mode. Uh, if I want to distort it, however, then I set up a macro control here. Um, this knob is controlling three parameters in the indent. So if I turn on this effect, then you can actually see how uh, the color of the resonance and the saturation in the input is going to be changing. <laughs> So this is a classic distorted 303 uh, effect. And then the two are kind of in a way interactive. If I add some more resonance to it um, on the actual uh, gear, and then I change this. You can even create like nice interesting accents that the, the saturation reacts to in a different way. You can hear that. My main use for dent and indent are really saturation. Um, uh, I like to use it for pads, uh, some really nice saturated pads, whether it's uh, just a little bit of a texture that it, it gives or like, like really crazy and aggressive saturation. Very good for that. Also for arpeggios like the, the, uh, the 303, it's a great distortion effect. Actually, I've used it for percussion as well. Um, you're gonna hear that in your album.